Hi friends, uh, welcome to AWS Automation with Python training presented by Narendra from Velocity Technologies. We know that uh, we can do automation with Python and Goto 3 of your any AWS services, right? Now here uh, we are going to discuss about very simple script about uh, AWS EC2 automation. Anyway, that is with Python and Goto 3. Let me go with the, what we are going to here. See here, we are going to write a Python Boto3 script to start or stop EC2 instance. See, uh, for any script before going to write that script, you must have some idea. What are the, uh, what, is, what, is, what is the purpose of a script? How we are going to implement? Suppose here our requirement is we have to write a script, Python script, anyway with Photo3 to start or stop EC2 instance. Then what is the idea to implement this script? See first and foremost thing is you need to select EC2 instance region because we know that EC2 instances are region specific. That's why first you need to select instance a region from which region you are going to start your EC2 instance. Then after selecting EC2 instance a region, you must know what is the EC2 instance ID. See here, you can select either EC2 instance ID or if you want to, uh, I mean, if you want to start some set of EC2 instances, then based on some tags, you can use filters in script such that based on your tag, that script will start all the instances. Anyway, here we are going to start based on instance ID. That's why I need to select instance ID. See, you need to select instance ID. But here we are not going and opening your AWS console. We are going to start with the script. So from command line, we have to run our script. Then we have to provide instance region. Once if you give instance region, then script has to give the what are the available instances are there in that particular region. In that way, we need to code. So first and foremost thing, we have to provide the region. Once if you give the region, script will able to list the all instances available in that region. From that, select your instance ID. Okay. After that, you need to select your option, whether you need to start or stop. Once if you give start or stop option, right? So you may not sure that in case uh, that EC2 instance, maybe it is already running or it is stopped. But if it is already running and if you are giving start option, then in that case, you need to take care in script itself such that in case, in case if you are providing option as start and if it is already running, then you don't try to start that. You have to provide an option such that it is already running. You don't need to start it. In case if it is not running, then you can start it to make it as running state. In case if it is already stopped, then if you are providing option as stop, then you should not stop it, already it is stopped. Then in that case, in script itself, you have to take care about that. You need to write some special extra line such that if it is an already in stopped state, just it, it, it has to give the message that it is already in stopped state, okay? Anyway, if it is just assume that it is in running state and if you are giving option as stop, then you have to wait up to it is stopped then your script has to tell that it is now in stopped state you have to provide that information through the script so guys to implement my script this is my idea it is very simple script okay so let me go and uh, show my script see uh, i'm going to open my script so this is my script one second yeah, this is my script so here I am using for my uh, script purpose uh, modules Boto3 system uh, OS time. Okay, let me go with uh, from where it is that it will start. So from here it will start. So OS.systemCLS, it is used to clear the screen. Then main function will be called. This is my main function. So this is welcome function. So it will display something. Uh, what is the purpose of this script? Something like that. Then I need to select a region from input side. I mean from command line. So it will use to read uh, region name. Once if it is read, reached, uh, once if it is uh, read 
this region name then it has to display the all the available instances in this region then I have to select from that one of the instance ID so for that this is the command then I need to stop or start so for that I have to provide from input side stop or start command then I, I, that will be read that will be read by this raw input okay then in case instead of providing start or stop if you give some wrong command then skip has to identify that that is the wrong command and again give the correct command so for that this is simple logic and then based on your start it will go and start your ec2 instance in case if it is stop then we'll go and stop your ec2 instance so let me run that first so that you will get some idea see python uh, our script is start or stop ec2 instance.py observe that what it is giving see this script will help you to start or stop ec2 instance based on your required region and instance id so okay anyway enjoy by using this script so enter your region name so it is asking our region name in which region you are going to select your instance so i want to start or stop from my east us east one region so i am giving that so it is going to connect and it is going to listing all the ids in region so as of now i am having only single instance id in this my region let me open my ec2 console and show that so this is under virginia so that is the us east one i am having as of now here only one instance id so that is displaying by this script and i am selecting that script enter then stop or start see instead of giving start or stop suppose i am giving some wrong command and assume up there here enter only stop or start command that means you are given some wrong command so let me give this start but if you observe on my console it is already in running state and now I am giving start command then what will happen observe here okay stop or start uh, st a or t start right yeah see start so instance is already running okay so that's why thank okay anyway instance is already running no need to do any extra uh, I mean no need to start it again so that's why it is winding the it's skip anyway if i do same script once again and now i am providing region name as again same the region name and i am now it is going to list the instance ids i am selecting that instance id now i am going to stop it enter so please wait it is going to stop once it is stopped then it will let you know i mean we will let you know means script will let you know once it is. so it is waiting as of now and if you go and see your console if you refresh it you will see the status change to running to some different status see stopping through the script we are able to stopping that now once if it is completely stopped okay once if the status is reached to stop then your script will stop uh, up to that it will wait so let me uh, see observe here whether it is in stopping state or stop state once if it is reached to stop then we will see what happened to the script see now the status is stopped and go to see the script now it is stopped now it is stopped thank you for using this script so like this based on your requirement first you need to make a picture how we are going to write the script what are the what is the purpose of that script and how do you need to start it uh, likewise you need to implement first your idea after that you uh, go and do your script so likewise uh, we are going to implement scripts based on uh, real time situations so in my entire uh, i mean in aws automation after completion of simple simple scripts okay at the end of my course we are also going to implement a project a mini project that project may be based on students requirement or in case if you don't have any requirement then we will come up with one requirement and we will implement that script in case if you are interested you can uh, reach us okay thank you for your attention in case if you have any queries on it in case if you want to reach us you can uh, reach with my email id to with python or the of gmail.com okay thank you guys and please watch this video uh, and we are going to uh, release uh, some more videos on this AWS automation with Python. Thank you.